Hi everyone, this is Ted Wood and I'm, I'm visiting with Anita Burgess Weber who has recently completed a uh, transaction in real estate wherein uh, she put together a very nice rehab. We're going to get a chance to look at that. We're going to get a chance to look at the documentation of the deal that she did and, and the money that was wired to her uh, by the title company. And so we'll get into that. First, we're looking actually at, at Nita herself, the lovely lady. Um, I like your hat, by the way, Anita. So, let's <laughs> <laughs> so tell tell us a little bit about this deal and what you went through in that, and then I'll show everyone some of the pictures of the property as we go along and things like that. Okay, we bought this little house. It's a three-bedroom house with a uh, one and a half bathroom, and uh, we could get it for a fairly reasonable price for close to. 20,000 and we rehabbed it and then put quite a bit of money into it and um, on the 8th of May we could settle it with the sale of it. So it's been quite a journey for us but very interesting and it was great to make this little half look rather nice again. Well, it's nice to keep your head above water on your first deal because you learn so much, don't you? Yes, we certainly have. All right. Well, I'm going to get in and go ahead. Did you have something else you want to say there or no? Yes, I'm pretty sure the next one will be a lot faster because we learned so much. Right. I'm, I'm showing people the settlement statement here on your actual purchase of the property. We don't need to dwell on that. It just documents that you bought it. Um, the other thing is also that you bought it in the name of your company and that you're showing us your articles of organization there so that you do indeed uh, have a legitimate company to do that. Next, I'm showing everyone um, the wire transfer documentation from American Legal and Escrow, wherein um, you, you had some money wired right to you, so there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, so um, I also have here um, the, I guess, the initial documentation with Chicago title. So that's there. So you, you got your, it looks like you got your documents in order. I'm going to start with, uh, I probably should start with the first picture of the front of the house, but I've got the bathroom here. And it looks like uh, you put some new tile in there is what it looks like to me and uh, redid the uh, shower a bit. Am I correct in that? Yes, actually the whole lot has been rehabbed, the whole bathroom. Oh, okay. Well, good. Yes. All right, very good. And I, I see you, um, in the stairway there in the living room going up into the stairway. You got all new carpet and all new, uh, repainted the walls and the baseboards and all that. And that's, that's kind of what we recommend to everyone, that you at least put lipstick on every rehab where it's all new flooring, all, you know, fresh paint everywhere. So it looks new and smells new. And you appear to have done that pretty well there. And uh, I have some other pictures here. Here's one of the kitchen. I kind of like this. This is a, the, 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 and it is a good for everyone here. I'm going to make this picture bigger here if I can so that we can zero in on it a little bit. The, um, the, the uh, white cabinetry is, that is a very uh, trendy cut. Uh, color these days and the hardware looks like it came right out of uh, um, an I Ikea store if you know what I'm saying and that's pe people are you know that's what people are buying that's what they want and nice window there behind the sink that's a, a nice view there so uh, I'm sure with that uh, nice new countertop and everything in there this thing uh, looked good uh, to uh, you know when it was when it was sold so that that's very good and I have another picture here I believe the garage I want to show that a little bit because that was a it's just a non-attached garage but there's attention to detail here you know you've repainted that and everything is redone there and it looks really nice 
Um, nice, yeah. nice attention to detail. And then I'll kind of show the property itself, the, the front of the house, and you can kind of talk a little bit about that, if you will. Um, Tell me a little bit more about what you were doing here and how you got involved in this to begin with here. Um, in what respect do you mean? Well, you found a deal and you were working in Euclid, Ohio. And that's, by the way, one of the better areas to work on this kind of thing uh, because the prices are very protective. You're not going to get in over your head. You can get into a property and you can buy it at a price where if you couldn't sell it, if something happened that you were able to sell it, but if you couldn't sell it, you could actually um, you could rent it you know, at a, at a reasonable rate where you're in total investment. Uh, so you look for an area where there's sort of um, young families want to live. So the first one buy it. Exactly. And uh, and so you were able to sell it. Um, one of the things that I kind of want to talk a little bit about, and I know you had talked to me about some of the problems that you run in with it costs a little more than you thought it was going to cost kind of thing when you work with your uh, uh, rehabbers and things like that. That's one of the problems with this business is that you can always run into additional costs. But uh, you want to be able to hold, we want to be able to hold our rehabbers to their commitments that they make unless there's something very unforeseen that goes on. And so I'm just saying that as it were to the wise, the people who are listening and planning on doing this kind of thing themselves. But, uh, you know, way, way appreciate visiting with you on this. Are there any last things that you wanted to add here? Oh, well, when um, we do a next purchase and the next rehab, we want to make sure that the rehab, rehab cost is uh, kept down at um, an acceptable level. Right, and and you have to, um, you know, it, it's two things that can go wrong in rehabs to share with people is number one that they take too long to do it, and your money's tied up for too long, and the other that, uh, you know, I, I joke about this, but I have a picture, and I ought to share that with people, and it's got a picture of a big, huge yacht, and behind it is a little kind of a trailer boat that you'd have, you know, something you'd take with you if you were going out on the yacht. And the tra trailer boat and the yacht are both designed to the same style. And the uh, uh, the little trailer boat is called, the, the title of the boat behind it, the name of it is uh, Original Contract. And the big boat is called Change Order. <laughs> If you know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. But uh, an excellent job on this. They did a really good job. You were able to sell it. You were able yeah, to get some money sent to you. So that part is really, really good. All righty. Um, I'm going to close off with that and, and say goodbye. I'll keep you on, but I'm going to uh, stop the recording. 